Okay, we will begin taking questions for Han Sama. We have MGG Leo. Uh, can I ask my question in French or it's only in English? Han Sama, do you have a preference? Oh, oh, oh it was to me. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, uh, whatever you prefer. Comme tu préfères. Uh, bonjour, Han, c'est félicitations pour ta victoire. J'avais juste une question. C'était que beaucoup de gens ne voyaient pas uh, Rox qualifié pour les quarts de finale. Mais là, vous avez quand même montré une très belle performance. Donc, est-ce que tu penses qu'on sous-estime un peu trop Rogue cette année euh, Peut-être que oui. Euh, en tout cas, c'est faire que, c faire que euh, euh, les gens euh, pensaient... Oh, J'ai du mal avec le français. <rire> du mal euh, de nous quand on était au playoff parce qu'on ne faisait que de perdre. 3-0, 3-0, un truc comme ça, contre Mad des Fnatic. Je pense que c'était un score comme ça. Mais en arrivant en World, euh, on a réussi à pro progresser, on va dire, en, en entraînement. Et nous, on a cette, euh, cette habitude de, euh, quand on a des bons résultats en scrim, on a des bons résultats en stage. Du coup, je me sens très optimiste de faire de belles choses, même contre euh, les deux teams, FPX et euh, Damon. Euh, parce qu'on a, on a quand même de bons résultats contre euh, les teams euh, coréennes et euh, chinoises en, en partie d'entraînement. Euh, du coup, ouais, peut-être que les personnes, euh, les fans nous surestiment. Sous-estiment. <rire> Adoransa, Full Esports. Uh, hello, Steven. Bonsoir. Uh, first of all, congratulations uh, for your victory against Club9 today. Uh, you are the most consistent team playing. Uh, best of one in Europe and tomorrow you will play against Amonkia. How do you feel facing the challenge of being in the group of death? Uh, I feel like nice because uh, I get to have another opportunity to prove how uh, what I can do on the stage as a bot laner. Uh, I think as a team we didn't do too great in EU uh, at the end. In the beginning we were considered to be well maybe the best team in EU, but it dropped quite fast. Uh, so I hope now we can take uh, this group of death opportunity to uh, climb uh, up again uh, how fans uh, think about us. Thank you very much. Eugene, upcomer. Hi, bonsoir. Hello. Um, yeah. Uh, I just want to follow up on your answer a little bit. You mentioned uh, how you guys didn't do too well in EU. And of course, there is the very unfortunate uh, meme of rogue time, isn't it? But for today, uh, you guys didn't seem to have any of it. So in your long, kind of long off season before Worlds, what was rogue or what did rogue uh, work on to uh, to prepare for Worlds at least? Uh, how you prepared for Worlds, you mean? Yeah, after, you know, you had not a very good season and you had the very oh, unfortunate, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think things were going quite bad, actually, in the team. Mm, we had some conflicts between players. We had to um, we had to find something, a solution. Uh, I think it was, an, it was probably the worst state uh, uh, since I've been in this team. Uh, after playoff or during the playoff, the the mood, uh, everything that was going on. But after that, uh, I think uh, everyone knew that we really have to to try hard more to find new things to commit to what we have like uh, committed in the beginning of the year, during the whole year. And um, I think we we we've done that pretty well. I think uh, we've been less tilted between each other, between, it's not between each other, it's more like tilted about the situation that is going on and it's not productive practice, but I think we got through it and getting to play against a stronger team from LCK and LPL made us, um, made us improve a lot um, because we had a really good mentality to be like, uh, yeah, let's just do our best. Uh, we seem to have stepped up individually as well for, for us and I've, I feel optimistic uh, for the future, for, for tomorrow. Hope to, um, to do well for EU. Merci. Merci. Aaron, the loadout. Hey, Hans. Um, first of all, congratulations on the win today. 
Uh, now you had a bit of an unfortunate moment uh, against the uh, against the Yumi earlier when the sort of airy sort of flew in and and unfortunately uh, turned your turned your screen grey. And we've also seen that uh, some of the other Korean teams, including Damon Kia, have been proing uh, the Yumi so far in this tournament. So as a bot laner, what are some tips you can offer w when playing into a Yumi lane? Uh, what tips to offer? <laughs> Guess what you mean? Mm. Picking something that either match her heal and push, her, I mean, pushing her uh, under the turret perma and having as much healing, or, well, I'm just talking about uh, what to pick firstly, and then I will look into the gameplay, or picking something that uh, can kill uh, Yumi lanes, like I think we saw earlier Kaiser Nautilus, where it didn't work that well, but it's some. It's um it's a strategy, uh, but well overall playing against Yumi in the lane is really you really have to uh, have the wave stacked uh, all the time and make sure that she doesn't poke you enough because she the champ is really hard poke she heals so much she pokes so much so we need to play very well around it and today we just wanted to pick uh, Lucian Nami against it because we feel like it's uh, a good answer. Um, but yeah, she still had uh, more healing than us. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> also, yeah, the Yumi thing in the bot lane, I think that, uh, yeah, it was like uh, trying to calculate my HP and be like, uh, yeah, do I need to fight or not? No, do, I, do I need to fight or not? No, I guess uh, she has more damage because the Eric pops in. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your answer. Alejandro. Hello. Uh, congrats on your win today against C9. Uh, I want to know what is your current opinion about the evolution of the meta now that we have seen a lot of unexpected or out of normal picks. And should we expect something like that in your duel against Dan Uh Special picks? Well, I'm not sure if it's uh, if we have like Omega special picks. I think uh, there's a lot of picks. Uh, that uh, that are like Trindamir, uh, was it like Ibilia coming in more often? Yumi, uh, I thought that this, I don't, maybe there's not other special fix, who knows, uh, that we can ring. Um, but yeah, the meta has uh, shifted to more, uh, well, it depends on some teams. Some teams don't pick Yumi yet. I think Yumi is strong. Uh, that one is, I think that one was like, for speaking it, uh, we first picked it as well uh, because the champ is just uh, synergizing so well with uh, how champs are right now in the meta. There's been uh, these younger champions, the middle champions, and it feels like you can't really abuse both that hard with like fast speed uh, champions. Like uh, there was Kaiser Nautilus earlier, but I, I thought that it maybe doesn't work because you may have so much healing and. Uh, yeah, it's hard to kill her and then China Gap. Yeah, hello, thanks uh, for the interview, Hansama. Uh, I wanted to ask a bit about your feelings coming into the match today, in the sense that there was a lot of talk in social media after Fanatics and Mad Lions defeat, right? That Rogue was maybe the last hope for Europe today. Um, I don't know if you guys were, were, were aware of this talk, talk and if this put some extra pressure on you or maybe like you even enjoyed the situation. Uh, how was the feeling of the team? <laughs> well, I don't have the feeling of the team. We just didn't talk about it yet. Uh, but me personally, I think uh, uh, it would be funny to do something good uh, in this group of death because we have no, people have no expectation before that of us. I guess maybe, maybe I guess uh, after I see the comments, maybe they could have expectation that we are the last team, last hope, <laughs> who knows? Uh, but uh, yeah, it's, it's funny because uh, we went from being called best team in EU to be like, well, the team that maybe doesn't deserve to make it afterwards, <laughs> and then <laughs> maybe we can climb up again. Thank you. 
DPA Nicholas. Hi, uh, congrats on the win as well for me. Um, you won your match against Cloud9 today, which is obviously some might call um, a special win due to the rivalry with NA. Um, and with Mad Lions losing against NA earlier, it's already a bit tense, I would say. Um, is it also a special win for you to, to win against the North American team? And what does the NA against the EU rivalry mean to you in general? Oh, it doesn't really mean much to me personally. Uh, I just think that it's just another team. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's kind of fun to read the comments, I guess. So maybe it's fun. Uh, For, for that part after after the game, the, the banter between EU and NA. Uh, other than that, I just really focus on on uh, on yeah what what uh, that what I have to do to to win against like every team. I just think about like I don't really think about like rivalries in EU when I play against them. Thanks. Okay, final question, Vitor Ventura. So, bonsoir, Hansama. Uh, congratulations on a win. Uh, so, Hansama, Rug came uh, really hyped uh, on last year's words, but you guys did not manage to have a good a good run on the tournament. Uh, what did you learn from that experience so that the EU fans and, of course, Rug fans can expect a, a better campaign and maybe a, even a, a playoffs uh, for, from Rug this year? Mm. Compared to last year, last year there was not that good. We had the same group, kind of a uh, group of death, I would say. Uh, we didn't do well because um, um, because we didn't have that much of a good environment in the team during the practice. I think we were expecting to lose, but uh, what I learned from that point is to like uh, not promoting, uh, like and not uh, making sure that. Uh, I feel like I can win or we can win as a team because um, the feeling that you think that you will lose is really bad, I think, for a team to feel. Uh, so, yeah, I think we are doing things very much differently right now that I think maybe we can make a better result this year than last year. Okay. Thank you, Hansama. Thank you, Hans Sama. That concludes the scrum. And thank you all for joining us today. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for the interviews.